The beauty of procedural crime shows like Bones is that every episode is dependent on the individual case that the characters are forced to solve. Some cases are more interesting than others, but rarely does an episode introduce a larger storyline that takes an entire season to pay off. While this makes a series like Bones great for first-time viewers, as they can essentially start whenever they want, it does make it challenging for loyal viewers to feel that their years of viewership have been building towards something. How have the characters changed over the course of 10 seasons, and what events shaped them into who they are now? Bones answered this question through the introduction of Temperance Brennan's, Emily Deschanel, father, Max Keenan, played by the great Ryan O'Neill of Barry Lyndon fame. Within his limited capacity on the show, O'Neill changed the stakes of the series and offered insight on the upbringing that shaped the series' protagonist. It is revealed throughout Bones that Max and his wife, Ruth, were career criminals that went on the run after a series of bank robberies. Although Max's skills make him dangerous, he was originally guilty of being a burglar and not a murderer. Max and Ruth's intentions weren't just to line their pockets. Their series of crimes revealed a conspiracy of corruption that was related to the FBI. While Max may view himself as a Robin Hood-esque hero, his activities prevented him from staying with Brennan during her childhood. In turn, Brennan never knew the truth behind her father's actions, and she spent her entire life blaming him for being absent during her childhood. Bones does a great job at gradually revealing information surrounding Max Brennan's first open-hearted conversation about her father comes at a critical moment in her relationship with her partner, Agent Celie Booth, David Boreanaz. Booth and Brennan both come from broken homes, and both have felt responsible for their younger siblings. Brennan has lost contact with her brother Russ, Loren Dean, and after her parents' disappearance, and Booth has been taking care of his alcoholic brother Jared, Brendan Fair, after he gets in trouble with the law. Booth understands how difficult it is for Brennan to acknowledge her upbringing, she can't help but fear that she will go down the same dark path that her father did. This makes her all the more determined to use her skills for good in order to bring the show's most ruthless serial killers to justice. Max's backstory also reveals why Brennan is so intent on solving crimes in the first place. Above everything else, Brennan feels that the justice system failed her when she was younger, as her parents' crimes ended up negatively affecting her development. As Brennan grows older, she realizes that her father's actions, however misguided they may have been, were done on his part to protect her. Although Max has an odd way of showing it, he felt that he had to commit to a criminal lifestyle in order to provide for his family when he wouldn't have been able to otherwise. This emphasizes to Brennan how important it is to know the definitive truth behind all the cases that she solves. She feels that she would have had a more positive relationship with her father if she had known the truth from the beginning. The only way to know the truth is to prove it, and Brennan's entire career has been spent in the service of using scientific principles to explain human behavior. Although earlier seasons of Bones were more episodic, Max's recurring appearances signified that the show was building towards a more important narrative conclusion. Max rarely appeared in more than a few episodes of each season, as the show stayed true to its procedural roots. Max introduced a level of moral grayness to the show that forces Brennan to reflect upon her values. She realizes that the law isn't always right, that criminals sometimes have justified motivations, and that truth and justice aren't necessarily the same thing. Within his limited time on the show, Max was able to question the inherent concept of the series, all whilst making Brennan more relatable as a character. Although Brennan's direct speaking nature could have made her less appealing as a protagonist, Max's appearances show why she finds it so difficult to understand human emotions. She's walled herself off from feelings as a result of her arrested development, 